physics, a new frontier for economic understanding. Do you ever find yourself questioning the reliability of mainstream economic models? Do you wonder if there's a better way to understand and predict economic phenomena free from the biases of traditional approaches? Enter the field of physics, a discipline renowned for its ability to describe the natural world with remarkable accuracy. In the realm of economics, surprisingly, the scientific method is often overlooked, leading to models that lack falsifiability, are not tested, and fail to provide meaningful predictions. Unlike physics, where hypotheses are rigorously examined using observable phenomena, mainstream economic models often rely on equations that can always be adjusted to fit any data, an approach that undermines the pursuit of true fundamental understanding of how human systems work. So what if we apply the principles of physics to economics? What if we treat economic systems as physical systems, subject to the same fundamental laws and constraints as everything else in the natural world? This is where the intersection of physics and economics offers a promising path forward. For example, at the heart of traditional economic models lies a fundamental division between labor and physical capital. This is a division that seems arbitrary when viewed through the lens of physics. By subsuming human labor into a broader definition of capital, and by removing any artificial distinctions between consumption and investment, we can develop a much more holistic understanding of economic processes that we can then tie to physics. In this new physically-based framework of the economic system, everything in civilization, including human beings, can be viewed as part of a larger network, one that is continually sustained by energy consumption. Just as in the natural world, where all living organisms rely on energy for survival, Civilization depends on the same continuous consumption of energy and raw materials to maintain its historical accumulation of wealth, everything that we have today. This more thermodynamic perspective challenges traditional notions of economic value. What it does is emphasize the interconnectedness of all elements within our global civilization. Rather than viewing capital as being economically strictly additive, as in more traditional models, we recognize that value derives from its role within a complex system and how we are all connected. So consider, for example, the example of a sandwich. Purchasing a sandwich isn't only a momentary consumption of resources, it's an investment in our well-being and our future productivity productivity that contributes to the growth of civilization's networks of connection and access. Similarly, the accumulation of wealth over time reflects a cumulative growth of these networks, a growth that must be sustained by an ongoing energy consumption. It is by grounding economics in the principle of thermodynamics that we can gain a solid foundation for addressing such pressing issues as population growth and climate change. It is by using this more physical approach that we can move beyond the purely abstract mathematical models of traditional economics and instead confront the societal challenges that face us today with a clear, testable understanding of physical constraints and limitations. In conclusion, integrating physics into economics offers a fresh perspective for understanding and analyzing economic phenomena. By embracing rather than shunning the principles of physics, we can develop more robust models that are grounded in empirical evidence and offer meaningful insights into the workings of our complex economic systems. It is time to rethink economics and use the lens of physics to help us embark on a journey towards a more sustainable and equitable future.